All right, no job number yet, but this is Bellevue North Shopping Center. This is for Wallace Properties. I've been here numerous times. This is the property right here. Uh, it butts up against Wells Fargo, a job that we're uh, currently striping and just did some asphalt work. But uh, out here at Bellevue Shopping Center, we've got a few asphalt repairs, some curb repairs, and then we've got striping to do in here. It's got curb painting and whatnot. I don't think Maggie wants seal coating, but uh, I might throw it in there if I've got it on some previous, uh, if I have it on a previous quote. All right, so anyways, I'm gonna start off with the curb repair on this 20 by four on the north side. You've got an entrance on the north, entrance on the west, entrance on the east, and then southeast there's an exit only. And you got Wells Fargo right here on the left. We got our guy striping today on that asphalt we just did. We'll come down here though, look at the repair. One, two, three, four, five, the fifth stall in. Actually, it's the fourth stall in. You've got um, some repair here that needs to be done. It's puddled before right in this section right here. I've got a 20 by four that takes this little area here. Um, we would cut it out, saw cut it, remove it, replace it. It's a, the asphalt's probably uh, three inches in depth. But you can see it from this end. We would cut right here and go 20 feet that direction, four feet wide. Uh, we'll go three inch depth on that. Uh, this, this one right here looks like it has puddled before. So what we'll do is we'll do an eight by eight repair right here. This is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's the eighth stall right out in front of it. You got an eight by eight right there. We won't do these areas because it's not puddling necessarily. And she just, Maggie wanted uh, potholes to be repaired. I'm looking at areas that might either be a pothole or are puddling. Right here on the corner, next to Blue Sky Cleaners, we've got 10 feet of curb to replace here. Six by eight, you need to bullnose the corner. Pretty heavy bullnose here. <clears throat> okay, so curb repair right there. I don't have 85 feet of curb to necessarily repair in here on this property. Um, <clears throat> but, I mean, if we gotta use it, then let's just fix this whole curb here and instead of doing 10 feet, now that I think about it, we might as well do this whole thing right in here, all the way around the corner to that joint where the car is. So we'll go the 40 feet plus the 10. So it's 50 feet of curb right in here. Okay, 50 feet. Then right here, you've got two areas. One area, it's starting to open up right here, out in the front. So I measured a 10 by four right here, 10 by four to take care of these two little areas that are starting to lose some of the asphalt. Okay, down here over in the corner for curbing. <clears throat> We've got 12 feet of curb here on this corner, six by eight going from here over to here. Okay, so 12 feet of curb there. Over here in this little section here, we've got the curb that's been pushed back. We'll fix this. Okay, so we've got eight feet of curb from here to there. Actually, let's just take it all the way to this joint right here. Okay, so we'll go eight plus the five. So we have 13 feet of curb here, 13 feet of curb. And that's it for all the curbing in here. Um, there's two other areas of asphalt and I'll show you it's down this one way. One of them's uh, one, two, three, four, five. Fifth stall in. Fifth stall has an area that's puddling. You can see there's a lid right here and it's probably gonna have to be, well, we might be able to cut right in front of it, but we need to get this water to push out of here and out into the road here. So we're gonna have to do this whole section right in here. So this would be like an eight by six, eight by six patch right here so that way we can take out that puddle 
You get the water flowing right down this area where I'm walking. Okay, you can see it right there puddling. We need to fix that, raise that asphalt up if we can, and get the water to uh, drain out towards the roadway. Okay, it might cause, there might still be a little bit of puddling, but at least we could get that fixed to where the water's not settling right there and it's at least making its way out here to the road. Okay, this is the last spot right in here. It's just an area that's starting to fail. This is the second stall in. We'll just do a little three by three patch right here. Okay, three by three patch. And that's it. There's really nothing else to, to do out here. It's busy. Um, I know that I think we've bid this before for seal coating. And uh, we'll have to do this in phases. I'd imagine it'd be like a, probably a, two or three phases might be might be two phases in here if we did it in two phases it might be okay we do like half the front part of this lot and then this the back half of this lot uh, no one's going to be happy because it's panera bread and and there's a um thai food place right around this corner so it's not the ideal parking lot to close down but if we do it in two phases that'd be good the curbing the asphalt repairs there's different entrances that we'd be able to get in and out of. All right, any other questions, let me know.